I want to talk about trigonometric equations. Let's start with a really simple example. Sine of theta equals a half. Remember, when you're solving equations, you're trying to find the values of the variable that make the equation true. So we want to find all the angles for which the sine is one half. Now, I've drawn a picture, a graph of y equals sine theta. And I want to show you that I've also drawn a graph of y equals one half. And so you can see that there are infinitely many points where sine of theta does actually equal a half. <clears throat> It'll have infinitely many points. And there are going to be two points per period. So expect infinitely many answers and expect to have two per period um, going into the problem. Now, I usually actually find the solutions on the unit circle. So I've drawn a unit circle, and I've also drawn the line y equals 1 half. Because remember, if I draw an angle, the point on the unit circle where the angle crosses, that point p, its y coordinate is going to be the sine of this angle. So in this case, the y coordinate is going to have to be 1 half. So the question is, what is this angle theta? The first solution that we get comes from the inverse sine. Inverse sine of a half is going to give us the angle in uh, between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 that satisfies the equation. In this case, it's pi over 6, this solution. But you can see that within the interval from 0 to 2 pi, within the first period of, two, of, of sine, sine theta, there are two solutions. Here's the second one. How is this angle related to the first one? Well, you can probably see by symmetry that this angle here is theta. So this angle would have to be pi minus theta, the supplement. So that's a second solution. Always remember this identity. The sine of pi minus x equals the sine of x. With the sine function, supplementary angles have the same sine value. It's an important property of the sine function. So if pi over 6 works, 5 pi over 6 is also a solution. Right? Keeping in mind that 5 pi over 6 is pi minus pi over 6. So this is the supplement. That gives us a second solution. Now I call these two solutions, pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6, my principal solutions. And I want to get the rest of them by using the periodicity of the sine function. Sine's periodic with period 2 pi. So I can add any integer multiple of 2 pi and get another solution. So my solutions would be of the form theta equals pi over 6 plus 2n pi. And that represents an even multiple of pi. I can add any even multiple of pi or subtract any even multiple of pi and get a new solution. Or 5 pi over 6 plus 2n pi. So both of these principal solutions yield infinitely many solutions. Going back, just remember, there are infinitely many solutions. Two per period, and the two solutions in a given period are related in that they are the supplements of one another. We get one solution by using inverse sine. We get another solution by using the fact that the sine of a supplement is the same as the sine of the angle. And finally, use periodicity to get the remaining solutions.